Hey everyone, so you finally get Ableton and you load up your drum rack and you have your nice MIDI keyboard. Um, this in my case is the Akai MPK Mini 2. Um, and this fix probably only works for this keyboard because this is the one I had issues with, it's the only one I have. Um, and you go to your keyboard and you tap on your pads and they are completely random. Ain't the same thing. Completely off, no good. Um, very very frustrating and you just want to make some beats and just want to make some hardcore beats and when i tried looking this up online um couldn't find any fixes or anything like that um it took me like two days and right before i gave up uh i play around with the board itself um and i figured out that if you hold down prog select program and you go to four uh that actually fixes it um, but hold on just yet because wait a minute it's on the wrong rack and for me in my case I switched to bank B and it's still on the wrong rack it's not even on the same like page thing um, so what you're gonna want to do is is that you're gonna take a screenshot of the original uh, the original rack here with this starting with C2 C sharp and uh, all that. Uh, I did a I did Windows key shift S if you're on Windows. I don't know what it is for uh, You Mac lovers out there uh, So what you're gonna want to do is you want to open up the MPK mini editor here um, And as you can see these don't really match this says C3 and this says C2 It says C2 down here so you have to use your big brain here and gonna have to switch this over to two. Uh, so these are all C2, which means these are actually C3. Um, so these are going to be E2, F2, F sharp two, G1, two. Um, so you're gonna change all these to E1, or sorry, E2, F2, F sharp, to C sharp, uh, it's gonna be G2. Uh, and then you do, uh, this is C1, so it's gonna be C2. And then you're gonna have to do C sharp 2. Uh, D1, which is gonna be T2. And D sharp 1, which is gonna be D sharp 2. Since you are on program 4, you're gonna wanna send it. Uh, please make sure that Ableton is definitely closed uh, before you open this because it's happened to me a few times where I would try to save after doing all this work and it would completely close the program and it wouldn't save at all. Um, it's because it's being used in Ableton and it can't be edited while it's being in a DAW. Um, so make sure Ableton is closed and you have, this is just the only thing you should have open. And then you want to send it to RAM, so send it. Um, you want to close this, open back up Ableton, and I apologize for the camera quality of, the, of my uh, uh, external camera here, it's just my phone, I'm holding it because I don't have that fancy spancy arm to hold it, but anyways, uh, go to bank A, bank B, you're all set. Start making some beats, start dropping some samples in there, and it'll be all fixed. Um, hopefully that helps you out, and uh, have a nice day.